everyone, welcome back. It's me. <laughs> um, hope you are all well. I'm excited to be crafting along again today with you. So yes, I have another exciting little project. And as I was working with paper bags the last time, I sort of got the bag a little bit and I've put together yet another little paper bag project for you today. And I really like how this one turned out. So I hope you're going to follow along and join with me. Now, um, I have little stacks of things next to me. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you everything, but I'm going to give you a rundown of what you need to grab. So I hope that's OK. We're going to work in this particular signature if you're following along with my Spring Splendor journal um, project. But of course, this will work in any theme. So, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're using this collection or not. Just follow along and grab the papers that you are using for your own. Right. So we did um, some lovely projects before. This was also with a bag. Now I'm going to go to the very back of this um, signature, the very back page here. And we're going to work and put a little project on this page over here. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to put that to the side over here. I'm going to grab this little stack and talk you through some of the things that I've gathered for this project. Now, you might be thinking, what is this? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I'm asking myself that as well. But I can tell you what this is. I got this paper screwed up in a box with one of my Amazon deliveries. Now it's um, not the usual color. It's a bit, it looks recycled, which I love. And it's got a bit of a peach undertone. So me being me, I grabbed it out. It was quite a lot. I've actually rolled it up and put it in my cupboard here. I've cut off a little bit just to use today and share it with you. I ironed it. <laughs> And I'm going to use it today. Now, you might not have the same thing. Um, it feels very much like newspaper print, but it's got this bit of peach background. Tea stain paper is going to do the same thing, or even the very thin craft color paper, which I've got in a thicker card stock and a thinner paper, anything like that for what we're going to use it for. So gather something like that. If everything else fails, use tea stain paper or any scrappy bits that you have. Okay, so that's that. I have um, revisited my typewriter words because I wanted smaller sentiments for today. So I printed mine on a tea stain page. You don't have to do that because it does come with a very light tea stain. But I was just trying out what it would look like. So I have used those two today from here. And I do love these and I want to make some more. Right. And then, um, yes, this is sort of what we're looking at. We've got a couple of scrappy bits and... As you know, I put all my paper in a tray. So I'll grab it here. It's all in a tray like this. And I, I've got my background pages in there, but everything is in here. All right. So I just grab this when I'm working on, on these projects. Um, I'm going to use a little piece of this. This is a background page with a kit. I'm going to use some of that. I'm going to use the yellow one. Now these all come with that Spring Splendor set. So we're going to use little scrappy bits that you could use from these sort of sizes. I'm using a bigger piece of this um, cream lacy page, which is part of a, a different digital. And you know I use it all the time, every project. Um, so those are the scrappy bits that I, I'm going to use. And I've also got a tiny piece of green gingham um, and I think a little piece of this pink version of that. All right. So that's those are those bits. We'll put them in the box. And then um, I took out this page. I'm going to use two pieces of this. Um, we have used this side already, so I have chopped it up, but I wanted to show you the page. So we had used that piece before. We're using this piece and this piece today. And um, on this page here, I'm going to use this section over here. All right, so there you go. Um, on the other side, grab the lace pieces, your lace trims. Go and grab some ribbons. Um, we are really doing shabby chic today. Um, go and get out any little flower embellishments, your die cuts and the usual things that we like to use. All right. So that's what I encourage you to do. Um, as far as ephemera is concerned, I am using my postcard. I've put two ribbons in yellow and pink because picking up on the colors here. So I like that. I've taken a little scrap of the edge bit on my fabric. I've just pleated it there and sewn it 
um, when I was sewing around there. I needed the, this to be flat, so that's how I've done that. Then that's just the two pieces from my ephemera kit. That's my large tag. I've backed it onto cards stock there. Again, two different um, ribbons in there. And then uh, these two come from my add-on kit. All right, so that's what I'm going to use as far as ephemera is concerned. All right, so let's get started. Now, as I said, I'm using a bag, a lunch bag. So this is really a lunch bag size. We are looking at approximate measures, guys, because, you know, everything is... Um, approximate i don't expect you to have exactly this and if you don't have a lunch bag you can just take two pieces of paper and glue the edges together and make something similar all right i also do have how to make a, um, a gusseted bag as a video if you wanted to do that from a four sheets of paper so you can do that as well with craft paper or whatever you have but yeah just improvise you know that's my best advice there right the length of my bag is 10 and 3 quarter inches that is about 27 and a half centimeters all right this way it is five inches and that equates to about 13 centimeters this did come from the us so i was very lucky to be gifted this so this is probably your standard lunch bag size so there we go it is gusseted we are going to need that piece um, for what we're going to do today and i'm going to give you some little um, measurements quickly so you know where to fold it all right because i'm going to fold this twice Right, so the first piece that you, um, you've you got, your bag nice and flat with your gusset bit like this. We're going to start on this side, on the right. So I folded this over about three and a quarter from the left and I made my first fold line. All right, that's about eight centimeters. So you want to just do that and use your bone folder and give it a good burnish so you know that's the fold line. All right, then... Um, you want to fold this over again. Now I folded uh, the middle bit here. Sorry, um, I think I wrote it on the back. <laughs> we are looking about three and a third of an inch from there to there, um, which is about nine centimeters. All right, so you want to measure that bit there and then fold it there and again give it a good burnish. There we go. And then what's left? should be about four just under four and a quarter all right so about 10.5 centimeters there or thereabouts and that's going to go like that so you've got a little bit sticking out that's what we want and then you've got a little bit of a trifold going on here all right um but we are going to um turn this into multifaceted <laughs> Um, piece of ephemera to go into your journal now you could decorate this up and give it as a happy mail of course there you could have it as a standalone project you could use a bigger bag and and do that lots of exciting things that can be done but today we're going to add it into our journal page so we're going to start right i'm going to start at the back here i think right now um this bit is the bit that we're going to end up sticking down don't do that until I get share, share that with you. All right, so this bit here, so our widest bit, and I'm going to just put in a pencil line here just so that you can see the fold line. All right, so this, I'm not saying you must do this. This is for filming clarity. <laughs> All right, so we've got a line there just so that you can see. Now, what I did there was I have cut out a little piece of paper from the lacy page. That's going to go over this little section over there. All right. I have also got some lace like this, and I'm going to stick it on top. I'm not sticking it under. Well, there's always that possibility, but I thought today I'm going to stick it on the top. All right. So we want to grab this. Now, I am happy to tell you I have changed my bottle, cleaned the nozzle, and hopefully she says... It's going to have smooth runnings. Now, I must say, while I'm laying this down, I took on a warm water. Oh, please work. Please work. I took warm water and I cleaned out the nozzle with um, a needle and had a lot of strands of, of rubbish coming out there. I know what it is. I haven't taken the lid off the glue. Gosh, I'm in. 
Blanker, eh? Look at that, it's still sealed. I'm squeezing for all I'm worth and I'm thinking, why is this not working? Gosh, that was a moment, wasn't it? No. All right, so let's start again. Right, I've taken that off. I'm going to just get this on. It's a little bit runny because I have cleaned this nozzle and it is probably not quite dry. So I would suggest that you dry it first before you do what I'm doing. But it seems to be working a lot easier. So I'm relieved about that. It's from laziness, you know, or well, not really. I'm not lazy, but um, forgetfulness. That's what it is. I'm blaming it on um, forgetfulness. Now, if I can just see the opening to close this, we will be okay. There we go. Right. So let's open that up. You can see my line there and I need it for my own because I can't get my head underneath that section. But there we go. We don't want to go quite into that fold line. So let's just get that there like that. Now, it doesn't have to be a brown bag. So that's the other thing. You can use any bag that you have. If you've got white bags, you know, that's also lovely. I like a white bag project as well. Oh, I see the college are all in the, the um, college students are love to come and sit here at lunchtime and have their lunch. And I see it's all girls today. Usually it's a bunch of boys and they are, the weather's lovely and they are swinging and eating their lunch and jumping on the trampoline which I think is made for toddlers. So um, I'm waiting for it to, uh, you know, <laughs> cave in. Oh my gosh. Right. Now, are you going to play up today? Is that it? If it's not one, it's the other. Oh my goodness. Right, let's try this then. My little pokey tool. Love my pokey tool. So many uses. Right. Um, just getting some glue down here for my lace piece quickly and you know the best thing to do is my glue pin here which I got from Audrey Harris and if you're wanting these she makes the most wonderful glue pins and I've had all mine from her she's on Etsy and I will put her link in the description box below right um so we want to just get our little piece of lace on here so I'm just doing this as a decorative feature Right, there we go. Is that even? Is it even? Uh, sort of. Right, let's cut the end off on the end here. Okay, I'm looking forward to the weekend. The weather's looking much better, as I said. And no, Angela, you don't need to keep every little morsel that you cut off. Right, so we've got our first little bit stuck down here. Right now, back to those little bits. I have measured off. What is this? This is just a, a one and three quarter inches wide, and the length of that, which is five inches. And I've just taken this bit. And I think I've done that already. And I'm going to make a, just a little um, tuck spot in there. So before I do that, I think I'm going to just add some bits and pieces. I've got some of my die cuts here. So. Um, two a green and a yellow so that's what we're going with a bit of a thistle looking one and a tulipy looking one and we just want to get this on right i'm gonna give you a little update on abby who's lying in her bed next to me here she's doing so much better thank you so much for your, your wonderful wishes and thoughts and kind words about abby um she is walking around um without having you know fairly steadily now on her feet it was the back of her that was a bit dodgy and um she's much more confident with her walking she's not able to run up the stairs or go up uh, a step even so that's going to improve with time i'm sure she's had all her medication now and um we have had a few walks um, but they are on flat surfaces. She's not running. She's just walking. So normally she would run. But um, I'm, I'm very happy that she's making progress. And I just wanted to let you know about that. She seems very happy. Almost back to its usual cheeky self. 
you know and when I go up the stairs she waits patiently at the bottom and then I suddenly remember oh yeah she can't run behind me because I'm used to her trailing behind me all day long there's one of those little words from the the typewriter words carefree gosh isn't that the best this comes from my little mini journal I love these little combinations here I wanted to just sort of put it on at an angle again I'm trying to keep this pretty flat so I'm going to just stick that on but she's been well treated and um, probably got a bit tubbier so <laughs> which is because of the lack of running around and stuff but I'm sure that um, every day she seems to look better and better so I'm not complaining and as one lovely lady said you know the week the murder mystery weekend was great it was a success Abby's on the mend and I've maintained my sense of humor and you could I think that was Sabine and I couldn't have put it any better myself right um yes it's all good uh I did have a good laugh reading some of your messages um a few days ago thank you for all of the messages and kind um thoughts you are all so very thoughtful and I'm so grateful thank you right we've got our little tuck spot decorated up how cute is that we're going to put that on there so this is the bit I'm not going to glue oh it's on the back of my floral folly traveler's notebook and I saw that you guys are after a new traveler's notebook so I will definitely have to look into that for you so we've got that there we're going to stick this down just close to the edge there and there's that first little bit done okie dokie so we've got something we can stick stick in there right on this little bit here i gonna get my wits about me yes <laughs> see thank heavens for little stacks right here's some gingham paper um and i'm going to stick this uh rectangle just there all right so that's easily done and we just stick that down yeah so um abby <laughs> she likes to sit on my footstool but normally she would jump on and off with her toy or chew, chewy chicken stick or whatever it is that she wants with her. She likes her toys. And um, now it's, uh, I mustn't say it, she, she, I pick her up because she can't get up. Um, and as I pick her up, then it's not one second later, she jumps down because she wants to bring something up. And then I pick her up again and she, she sees something else and it's, I don't know I'm getting exercise I don't know about her but um yeah that's how it goes and then she always lies on my legs and um when I'm sitting in the chair right so there we go <laughs> little monkey that it is annoying me I need a little sieve <laughs> I think that's what it is I need to get a little glue sieve these little nozzles are so fine so anything can get stuck in here thank goodness for glue pins right so we want to get that bit stuck down there we go oh what i probably should have said um and you know when i'm looking at these things it's just in my head half the time the gusseted bit is on your left <laughs> i suppose it doesn't really matter it doesn't but um my head it is all right so there we go we've got that bit there i'm going to stick this little bit on here this is where the collage page this comes off that collage page and i just love that picture so i thought well just looking at that would be enough i'm going to stick that down over there and i'm going with this glue hopefully it's going to work closer to the edge right okay there we go now for this little one in the middle this is where that pinkish recycled paper comes into play. What I did was I cut it into strips. So it, it's got a little bit of a, a gap on either side. And for me, um, I think I cut these into three inch strips. And then I cut the length of my paper. So if I give you a length here, you're looking at about nine and a half inches. Um, I've got... How many have I got here? I think four, four of those, yeah. 
Um, so I just cut them like that and folded the nine and a half inches in half. If you don't have them that long, you can just take individual bits because you'll see what I'm going to do with it. And you'll see that it doesn't have to be a continuous length. So either option is going to work. We're just making a little notepad to go in here. So again, I've taken a little scrap of paper. This one is slightly longer than this, so three and three inches. And I've made this, I think, two inches wide. And all I'm going to do is fold this over. All right, so we're going to fold that over. We're going to have to stitch this. You can glue it or staple it even. You can do that. I don't have a stapler. So I'm going to end up sewing it. So you've got your little divided bit and your little bits over there. Now you can also, um, if you've got them folded, you could stitch through there if you wanted to, just with your... Um, pamphlet stitch you know that could work um but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to stitch around here um but first i'm going to stick this in so let's just get some of this glue quickly uh, this is just to hold this in place so it doesn't have to be a lot and i'm not going to go around the edges where i'm going to sew with my machine so i'm going to keep it away from the edges because i'm going to stitch on the edges all right so i'm just going more in the middle really like that and then I'm going to put that like this and like this so you've got a little bit at the top all right now as I said at this point before you stuck this down you could always just use one of many options now, I'm just going to go and stitch with my sewing machine around there and I'll see you guys in a moment okie dokie so there you can see I've just stitched around the edges there now you've got a nice little notepad you can make it as thick as you want you can put any sort of paper in there really now um just got a little bit of trim um these are all from my bundles so i want to just put that over there and um a bit of a daisy decoration going on so again i'm going to just take my fabric tack ready and do this and then i'll need my scissors just to trim the end so we're going to put it sort of in the middle like that okay and i'll trim it off in a minute so i'm going to take one of these pink daisies love that this is just full of flowers i really do just going to put one of those there and then one of the paper ones from that background sheet and i'm going to put that if I can get it off my fingers that is over here right I'll squash that down in a minute okay so let's just push those down there and of course you can always use your little clips so we'll do that just to keep it flat 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 right and then while i'm doing that i'm just going to trim this off here there we go all right so we've got that happening little bits everywhere gluey fingers that's what it is all right so that looks good okay um now we want to get this stuck down and i'm just going to stick it on the back there really so give that one press I'm going to just um, use my art glitter glue. Hopefully it's not playing up. And we're wanting, oh, there we go, it's working. Working how I want it to work. Right, now I wanna get this even, so let's just gauge it. Here we go, I think I got it, I think so. All right, so we've got all those done, nothing on there. I'm trying to keep this as flat as possible. A little th notebook, little tuck spot. Now we've got this little bit as well. And I've got my little bits here. As you can see, cut that from the top corner of that collage page. And I'm going to put that just over there. So, oh yeah, that's what I forgot. I wanted to make tiny tags. 
and uh, we'll do that. Right, so it's getting warm. It's getting warm. I don't know if it's me or the weather. <laughs> I think it's the weather and I'm glad because we've had such cold days for spring. So I hope the weather's good where you are and not too hot and not too cold if you're still down. I know in um, Victoria, in Australia, they were saying, um, the lovely ladies there were telling me how cold it is. So I'm thinking of you. I want you to make this a little pocket. Um, can words describe the fragrance of the very breath of spring? Nalkia Blanken, I think. Um, I'm going to just make this a little pocket because I'm going to try and make tiny tags out of um, to go in here, which are really easy. So let's get this just over here. So hopefully I remember to do that. Then I've got a, just another little one of those daisies, which I fussy cut out of that background. And I love these. I do love using the bits from the kit and cussie, cussie, cutting them out. There we go. We'll put that like that. Okay, so we've got that one done. Now we want to turn it over and this is going to be our sort of front bit. Is that straight? Gosh, I hope so. No, I think I've loosened it completely. Yeah. <laughs> what am I like? It's one of those days, isn't it? Things aren't going to plan, but that's okay. We've got to laugh. We've got to laugh at ourselves. Life's too short. Okay, so we're going to do that, but I'm going to leave it open for the minute. Um, I think I'll probably do this one last. So let's fill up the other bits. Now, that bit we're not doing anything with, but... Um, these two bits we are all right so i'm going to just with difficulty <laughs> i'm going to add this little strip onto this little bit over here all right so let's do that it's just that background piece and i thought i would just add a little strip on there and you'll see why let's get that stuck on in there Okay, now I was going to put some lace on there. Uh, I might not, I think I might not. So I did cut another piece of lace to go on there, but I'm not sure if I want to do that now because you won't really see it, so I'm not going to. And then with this piece, we're going to stick that on, on the side. All right, just to cover up the paper really. And so I'm going to do that quickly. Yeah, I do like working with paper bags. Um, somebody did ask me, am I going to do a whole load of projects? I have done quite a few projects with paper bags already. I'll try and pull them out and put them into a separate playlist for you. Um, but yeah, I, I might. It's just whatever inspires me at the moment, you know. And that is how it works with art and crafts um, for me. I do what comes into my head at that moment. So it's very hard for me to um, want to do a specific thing. I can if I uh, decide to, but usually it's just as I'm in, as it happens, it just happens. So I can't explain how that works. Um, you know, so I might see a jar of jam and be inspired by that. I don't know. It just <laughs> happens. Um, I do look at funny, the, the most strangest things to get inspiration from, and I'm sure many people will attest to that. Oh my gosh, what are we doing here? Right, we're going to just line this up properly. There we go. Get that bone folder. There we go. Don't shove the bone folder too far in. You'll break the paper bag. <laughs> Okay, I'm not talking about breaking paper bags. Right, that bit needs nothing. The only bit that needs something now is this bit on the front. So what we're going to do here? Well, um, I have a couple of things that I wanted to do and I won't need this glue for most of that. I'm going to be using my Fabri-Tac. So the first thing is I've taken a strip of fabric. So I've taken this one and I'm going to stick it on the end over here. Now, it doesn't matter with fabric if it if it goes a little bit over, 
because it's fabric and it's soft and it bends so that's all right so i just want to get that stuck down over here on the edge there we go and we'll just stick that down like that there we go so i've got that bit stuck down now i've got some more scrappy bits so i've got this longer strip and i've hand torn these this bit i want to put here this bit I want to put here, right? And the reason is this bit, I wanted some layers um, and I tore this bit off the, um, the bit that I showed you with a page that looked like this. All right, so that comes from there. Okay, so we'll just put a little bit of Distress Ink. Now I did think about doing this piece first because you can if you want to do some messy stitching right through this bit while it's open so it would be uh, this bit you know before you stick the slot on so you could do that as well i'm just going to leave it like this for the moment right so we want to get um this little green bit and I'm using very soft, I'm not dabbing this on, I'm using old ink remnants that are left over on my dabber here because I don't want it to be dark. But that's just a matter of preference. Right, I'm going to stick those down on the top there. And again, I'm going to use this. So we're going to do it. this one first. Now it depends how you tear your piece out. So make it slightly smaller than the front of this area here this this brown area here all right so i'm going to put this a little bit longer because it's our top bit so it doesn't matter that it's going to go a little bit over on the edge there it doesn't matter and then um, this bit here as well cool and then this bit's going to go on the top like that so we've got some bits peeking through which i quite like very shabby, very shabby for me, meaning I'm, I do neat shabby. <laughs> Is there a thing? Is that a thing? But to be quite honest, I don't put a label on it. I just do me. So, you know, whatever you want to call this, I do it my way. So however I like it. And that's how we should all be. So don't, you know, beat yourself up about just doing you whatever style that might be it's your style right there you go so that's the front of course it's not going to end there i want some more bits on there again so we are going to take a die cut and i've brought in a little yellow one just picking up on the yellows and um, that's my favorite flower on this i do love those yellows and i never used to be a big yellow fan growing up I had a yellow bedroom and I wasn't a fan of yellow, but um, I was given yellow because one of my other sisters, stepsisters, was given the pink and the blue and all that was left was yellow and green and I ended up with yellow and I wasn't very happy about it. But what can you do? So I I'd, I'd really wasn't my fave, but I've learned to love yellow. Right, um, I'm going to stick that down just on the edge there like that pink's my fave and this is going to go down here somewhere like that I don't want to get it over these pretty flowers now again I've got my little flowers out um, so I've got one of those and two of those I'm going to put that over there because that just looks like where it should be and we're going to get this stuck down with some good fabric glue. We'll get you over there. Then I'm going to take one of these little Kapoor goodies. And we are going to put you, where are we putting you? We're going to put you here. Uh, all these little bits just finish it off in my mind. And yeah, I just love it. Right, we'll stick you there. And then I've got this little 
Flourish, which comes from that typewriter sheet. There we go. And do flourish, people. Go and flourish. I'm going to stick that under this one. It's just saying that's where it must go because it didn't quite stick properly there. And I'm going to just put it there. And there we go. Right. So now it's just a case of let's get this stuck down into our book and put our ephemera in. So I'm grabbing it here. We want to take this back page and I think I'm going to take the back page out. Uh, I want it this side, I think. Yeah, this side and I'm going to put it over there, but I'm not sticking it down completely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a belly band. All right, so I'm going to just put the glue at this along this edge and along this edge. Right, so don't be shy with the glue. Right, and now I can put my fingers in the middle. I think that's about straight. And then I'm going to just push it down. Right. And like that. Right, now while I'm busy and that's doing its thing, um, and we can now, let's get that back into the, the journal. So this turns over. And this goes on top of that. Okay, and you have it like this. Yeah. Now, while we're waiting for all of that, let's just put in our bits and pieces. So I have got these two bits to go in over here, right? So we've got that there and this little one over here. Now you don't need to put two in, but um, I've got two in here. You could actually use the one for uh, another pocket which I'm going to share with you now right so you could put the other one in there but all right I did actually grab another piece while I was sewing the bunnykins one how cute is that face I'm going to put bunny in there all right so that's in there and then um, we've got this over here now what I wanted to do with my tag that goes over and this bit goes in here right like that and then one of these and I should have done this before I stuck this down actually one of these pockets I think it's this one stand up one of these pockets so it's not that one it's this middle one where your front page is. What we want to do is, <laughs> this is awkward. So do this before you stick it down. I'm taking my craft knife and in the middle here, so probably good because I can stand this up and show you, but do it uh, sitting down, you know, while your book is, before you stick this in. In between the gusset here, you've got a little, a gusset piece I'm going to take my craft knife and in the crease of that I'm cutting a strip okay, it wasn't difficult but um, there it is there right and I think on this bit here I'm now going to glue this down there right Let's do that on the other side as well. So the other gusseted side, I'm going to stick that together now that we've cut our bit. Right, and there we go. Right, there we go. So we've got our pocket there. We have our little belly band there. That's gonna lie there like that. We're going to take our large tag now 
hopefully. <laughs> Always say this and hold my breath. Um, and we're going to fit that into this pocket here that we've just slit. So that should fit in here. And if it doesn't, then you just need to cut this a little bit further along. So I'm just looking. That's it, I think. Oh, I didn't quite go to the edge. Right. And now that'll go in there. There we go. Right. All right. So you've got that all there. Now on this side, you've got your um, your little bits. I've just covered those there so that it's, you know, pretty. But that there's, there's no purpose for it really other than just to be covered and look pretty. And there we go. Now I'm going to go and put a book on this tonight just so that everything can lie nice and flat. Um, and I'm, I'm not putting a closure on here. So there we go. We've got everything there folding out possibly have one less of these cards let's see if that's better no so i'm going to put it back in i like the green and the pink and the yellow and the green and all those bits so that can go in there right and there we have it and there's your your big tag at the back yeah that goes down you could put a smaller tag in if you wanted to and then you've got your little bit this is just the other side of your belly band there really okay that's our project for today how cute is that all right and again from a lunch bag all right everyone i hope that you've enjoyed that go and have some fun with some lunch bags i'm going to try and put a remember to put a playlist together and sort them out eventually at some point this weekend um, go and enjoy yourselves and i'll see you again on sunday for a quick little video again stay well everyone and thank you so much bye bye